she is one of the business people helping the SBDC stay in power. Our actions also helped push the UK government to pushing for Security Council discussions. And now we have, for the first time, a, a presidential statement from the Security Council telling the regime it has to change. There has to be democratic transition in Burma. It's not the binding resolution that we want, but it's a step towards that. These things that we've achieved, the economic sanctions from the EU, the Security Council action, would not have happened if we hadn't been here protesting in London and making a dis difference. And we saw what the regime wanted to do, is to stop people knowing what was going on in the country. They shut down the internet, they shut down telephones, they stopped people getting information. And as soon as they did that, the media around the world stopped putting Burma on the front page. But the protests that you held, that we held together here in London, the mass march with 10,000 people marching through the streets of London, put Burma back in the news, put the pressure on the politicians to take action. And the vigil that has been here has been a constant reminder to the British government and to members of parliament that the crisis in Burma is not over and we need to keep action and keep pressure on the regime. Gambari will now be going on another trip to Burma and this is the make and break trip. We have to all be passing the message on to governments, to MPs now, that this is it. It's crunch time. If Gambari doesn't secure a date from the regime to start genuine negotiations, then his mission has failed and it's over. And we need new economic sanctions against the regime and we need Ban Ki-moon himself to go to Burma. And so, from next year, our key demand is Ban Ki-moon going to Burma. We need to show the regime it's not business as usual. They have had 34 UN envoys go to Burma since 1990. Every single visit, they have actually ignored what the UN envoys have been calling for. There's not been a single democratic reform because of the 34 EU envoys trips to Burma. So we say enough is enough. The regime needs to know that the game has changed. It's not going to be like it has before. We're going to have economic sanctions that are really going to hurt them. And we are going to have the Secretary General himself paying attention to what is going on in Burma and pushing for change. Only then will they start to get the message that it, they have a choice. They face continuing economic and political pressure from the, region, from the international community which will start to cause them real pain and they have to get to the negotiating table. Otherwise, with the continuing problems in Burma, they face another potential uprising, bloodshed on the streets. And that's not something that any of us want. So let's make sure that we keep the next year big pressure on the UN. We need Ban Ki-moon go to Burma.